once again, we'll be able to buy beer in pints. We can ride bikes with frames and wheels measured in inches and get bathroom scales with stones and pounds. A glory of glories. Stop all that complicated working out in units of ten. We can go back to twelve inches per foot, three feet per yard. Four ounces is a quarter and four quarters is a pound or sixteen ounces. Because multiples of four are so much easier to understand than multiples of ten, aren't they? We can drive miles like never before. Confidently insist that everyone else in the world adapts to our system of measurement when it comes to trade because they need us more than we need them. And where have we heard that before? But just in case Johnny Foreigner finds our system of measurements a bit too complicated for his inferior non-British little foreign head, I've devised an easy-to-use intermediate system to help them get their heads around it. It's a system intended to bridge the gap between imperial and metric weights and measures, which I call the Brexit system. Measurement of distance begins with the Boris. That's equivalent to 2.5 centimetres or 1 imperial inch. It's the basic unit of measurement because along with zero, it's the same in every system. It's imperative that Brits and Johnny Foreigner understand both the metric and imperial equivalents of the Boris so they can work out what the rest of the measurements equal in the shops or, or on the harbour side as convoys of eager foreign traders sail into our ports desperate to convert all their filthy foreign measurements into proper Brexit. A spine is roughly equivalent to 30 Borises or two and a half feet. That's based on the distance between Boris's arsehole and the nape of his privileged little neck. Not to be confused with the spine less, which equals minus two and a half feet, and is modelled on the same aspect of Michael Gove's spineless anatomy, but as a negative. So one spine plus one spine less equals one supermarket shelf, or zero. That's also the same in each system. An imperial yard is equivalent to 36 Borises or 90 centimetres. In the new Brexit system it'll be known as a Nigel because unlike the metre it doesn't quite measure up to European standards. The remainder, four Borises or 10 centimetres, will be known as Gobby Little Bastard in honour of Mr Farage's method of overcompensating for his obvious failings in the European Parliament. A Brexit ghoulie will be the same as an imperial foot, 30 centimetres. This is named for the ambition of most clear-headed Brits to connect their own foot with the ghoulies of their Tory MP. If your nearest Tory MP is a female, then the equivalent Brexit measurement would be the Patel, because everyone wants to kick her in the ghoulies. Or if you're not sure what sex they are, just call them lower than vermin instead. I actually strike that last one. There are no trans people in the Tory party. They're unable to survive in such a gammon-rich atmosphere. Tory bigotry is far too stifling. The traditional pound cannot be used as a standard measure, like the inch, to bridge the gap between systems. That's because, thanks to Brexit, the pound keeps shrinking. But the, the ounce holds good, so we can use that. In the Brexit system, one ounce is known as one lying son of a bitch. Multiple ounces can become a deceit, four ounces, a rip-off, eight ounces, or a government bench, a term used for a seemingly unlimited supply of lying sons of bitches. 300 or more lying sons of bitches would be known as a tax haven or a resmog. Goods of any quantity turned away from Europe will be labelled a farage in honour of the German reaction to our Nigel's failed attempt to gain German citizenship after the referendum win. Goods accepted into Europe from these shores will be known as a government recommendation to mark the advice given to the British firms to move to Europe to avoid going under. Goods accepted in the Far East 
will be known as the Dyson for similar reasons. Any reduction in quantity or quality will be known as a truss under the Brexit system in recognition of the way that our Liz managed to negotiate deals with other countries that were worse than what we had under the European Union. Confused? They haven't even started yet. <laughs>